in this video i will explain input impedance of the transmission line input impedance impedance of the transmission line terminated by load terminated by load consider a transmission line of length small l characterized by propagation constant gamma and uh, characteristic impedance z not connected to a load zl shown in figure this one is the transmission line of length of length l this one is l this one z is equal to zero z is equal to l transmission line of length small l characterized by propagation constant gamma and uh, characteristic impedance is z not these are the two important parameters of the transmission line at the generator end, V is the generator voltage. This one is the ZD, generator impedance, connected to this uh, transmission line. The current is uh, coming from that uh, generator V is I naught. This one is uh, V naught. At Z is equal to zero, uh, the voltage is V naught. Here, a load ZL, a load uh, ZL is connected here. This one is the voltage is VL. The current uh, flow through this one is uh, capital I, capital IL. Suppose uh, here is some Z is the length of the transmission line. From the load side, uh, the length is uh, the length of the transmission line is L dash is equal to total length is L, L minus Z. This one is L minus Z. Input impedance looking into this terminal that is Z in. This is also Z in. This is also Z in. This is the diagram of the transmission line. Consider, uh, consider a transmission line. Of length. Smaller. Characterized. Characterized by gamma and uh, Z naught. Connected to a load. Connected to a load uh, ZL. Looking into the line. This is the line looking into the line. The generator, this is VG, sees the line with a load as input impedance Z in. Very, very second point is uh, looking into the line, looking into the line, the generator, that means source side, the generator uh, sees the line with the load, with the load as a uh, input impedance, load as input to impedance, jetting. Let the transmission line extend from Z is equal to zero at the generator to Z is equal to L at the load. 
z is equal to 0 at the generator side, z is equal to l at the load side. Here, let the let the transmission line extend extend from z is equal to zero at the generator side generator to z is equal to l to the loads to the load already derived some expressions the voltage and the current waves of the transmission line the voltage the voltage and the current current equations of the equations are waves waves of the transmission line are transmission line are Vs of z is equal to V0 plus e power minus gamma z plus V0 minus e power gamma z, where gamma is called as propagation constant of the wave. Z is the wave is propagated along the direction. V0 plus is the amplitude of the wave along this uh, positive z direction. V0 minus e power minus uh, gamma z is along negative z direction and similarly i i s of z is equal to i zero plus e power minus gamma z this is the positive plus direction plus i zero minus e power minus gamma z negative z direction the characteristic impedance of the waveform of the transmission line not waveform is uh, uh, V0 plus by I0 plus negative of that uh, reflected wave, reflected voltage in the reverse direction minus of V0 minus by I0 minus. This is the general definition. Therefore, from that expression, I0 plus is equal to V0 plus by Z0 I0 minus is equal to minus of uh, V0 minus by Z0. Substitute I0 plus and I0 minus in that expression IS of Z. Therefore, IS of Z is equal to V0 plus Z0 E power minus gamma Z minus I0 minus is equal to minus uh, V0 minus by Z0 E power gamma Z. E power gamma z. This one is plus. This one is a plus. Plus here also a plus. This one is e power minus gamma z. This one is e power gamma z. E power gamma z. This one is v zero minus e power gamma z. V i zero i zero minus e power plus gamma z. Okay. Z is equal to zero. At Z is equal to zero. Vs of Z. That means Vs of zero is equal to. At Z is equal to zero. Vs of Z at the source side. The value is V naught. The value is V naught. IS sub Z zero is equal to IS sub Z. Z is equal to zero is I naught. I naught and V naught. I naught and V naught. This one is V naught. And Z is equal to zero. IS sub Z. IS sub zero is equal to I naught. Substitute. Write down the expressions here. Vs of Z is equal to V0 plus E power minus gamma Z plus V0 minus E power gamma Z 
i s of z is equal to v0 plus by z0 e power minus gamma z minus v0 minus by z0 in e power gamma z. Substitute z is equal to 0. Substitute z is equal to 0 in these two expressions. This, these values are equal to 1. Therefore, vs of z is equal to vs of z, vs of 0. vs of 0 is equal to v0. is of 0 is equal to i0. Substitute z is equal to 0 in the above two equations. That means vs of 0 is equal to v0 plus into 1, v0 minus is of 0 is v0 plus by z0 minus v0 minus by z0. Therefore, vs of 0 is equal to v0 plus plus v0 minus is of 0 z0 is equal to v0 plus minus v0 minus. Add these two equations. Add these two equations. This one is a plus and this one is plus. Plus into minus minus. These two are cancelled. Therefore, here adding these two equations that is equal to I, I zero. I s of zero is I zero. V s of zero is uh, I s of zero is I zero. I zero z naught plus V s of zero is uh, uh, V naught is equal to two V naught plus two V naught plus. Therefore, V naught plus is equal to one by two i naught of uh, i naught z zero plus v naught. Subtract these two equations. We again consider these two equations. v zero plus v zero minus i naught uh, z naught v zero plus v zero minus that is v naught. Subtract these two. These two are cancelled. Minus uh, 2v0 is equal to i0 z0 minus v0. Therefore, v0 dash is equal to v0 minus i0 z0 by 2. This is the equation, another equation. This one is a v0 plus and this one is v0 minus. Equivalent circuit fund uh, finding V0 and I0 in terms of uh, Z in at the input. This is the total circuit. This equivalent circuit consists of Vz, Zg, here uh, V0. The load impedance ZL is uh, Z in, the load impedance. Here, uh, consider this one Vz, Zg. This one is V0. Here, Z in is the input impedance transmission line. Consider equivalent circuit. Equivalent circuit. Next one, equivalent circuit. Equivalent circuit for finding for finding V naught and I naught in terms of in terms of Z at the input. This one is V Z Z G Z in. This one is V naught. This one is I naught. If the input impedance at the input terminal is Z in, the input voltage is V naught and the input current is I naught. Find out V naught. Apply voltage division rule. V naught is equal to Z in into total voltage applied to this circuit is Vz by 
d plus z d. But this is the loop equation. I naught is equal to v z by sum of these two impedances z g plus z d z g plus z d. Next, this is uh, z d right? Next, at uh, z d is equal to l. Z d is equal to l. V s of write down that equation. V s of z d is equal to V s of L, V S of L is equal to V L, V L. This is the consider equivalent circuit. This one the entire equivalent circuit here. At Z is equal to L, V S of uh, Z. That means V S of L is equal to V L. I S of Z, S of L is equal to I L. Consider these equations. Uh, I S of Z is equal to I S of L is equal to I L. Again, write down that uh, equations, voltage and current equations of the transmission line. V S of Z is equal to V zero plus E power minus gamma Z plus V zero minus E power minus gamma Z. Next, I S of Z is equal to V zero plus by Z naught E power minus gamma Z plus V zero minus means uh, next uh, uh, I zero I zero plus E power minus gamma Z plus zero minus I zero minus means uh, minus V zero minus by Z naught E power gamma Z. Substitute these two conditions in that expression. V S of Z, V S of L, Z is equal to L. Uh, v S of L is equal to V S of L is V N is equal to V zero plus E power minus gamma Z is equal to L plus V zero minus E power minus gamma L. Next one. I S of Z is I S of Z at uh, uh, Z is equal to L. That is I L is equal to V zero plus by Z naught E power minus gamma L minus V zero minus uh, Z naught by E power gamma L. Z is equal to L. That from this is uh, simplify this equation I L. Z naught is equal to V zero plus E power minus gamma L minus V zero minus E power gamma L. V L is equal to V zero plus E power minus gamma L plus V zero minus E power gamma L. Solve these two expressions. VL plus IL add two equations. IL Z naught is equal to V zero plus E power minus gamma L. These two are cancel. These two are cancel after adding plus V zero plus E power minus gamma L. From this equation, uh, two v zero plus e power minus gamma l is equal to v l plus i l z naught. Two v zero, two v zero plus two v zero plus is equal to v l plus i l z naught by e power minus gamma l that is equal v0 plus is equal to 1 by 2 vl plus il z naught into e divided by e power minus gamma l bring this to numerator side e power gamma l 
and similarly subtract these two. This is the adding subtraction. VL minus IL did not subtraction. VL minus uh, IL Z not is equal to is equal these two are cancel. Therefore, V0 minus E power gamma L plus V0 minus E power gamma L. That is equal to 2V0 minus E power gamma L. Therefore, finally, V0 minus is equal to 1 by 2 VL minus IL Z0 by E power gamma L that is equal to 1 by 2 VL minus IL Z0 into E power minus gamma L. Input impedance. We know that. Uh, Input impedance is equal to Z in is equal to Vs of Z by Is of Z. Vs of Z by Is of Z. Z is equal to 0. That is equal to V0 plus E power minus gamma Z plus V0 minus E power gamma Z by Z by V0 plus by Z0 E power minus gamma Z minus V0 minus by Z0 E power gamma Z. Z is equal to uh, Z, Z is equal to 0. That is Vs of uh, 0 by Is of 0. <clears throat> V0 plus, plus V0 minus Z is equal to 0. Simplify this one. V0 plus by Z0 minus V0 minus by Z0. That is equal to Z0 into V0 plus V0 minus by V0 plus minus V0 minus. But in case of V0 plus and V0 minus, consider these two at the load side z is equal to l these two equations v0 plus and v0 minus are substituted in that uh, in that expression therefore z in is equal to z not v0 plus is equal to 1 by 2 vl z not il e power gamma l v0 minus is 1 by 2 VL, VL minus Z0 uh, IL E power minus gamma L by, by 1 by 2 VL plus uh, Z0 IL E power E power uh, gamma L E power gamma L minus 1 by 2 VL minus Z0 IL E power minus gamma L. Half of cancel. Therefore, Z in is equal to Z in is equal to Z0 into VL into VL E power gamma L plus Z0 IL E power gamma L plus VL E power minus gamma L minus Z0 IL E power minus gamma L by VL E power gamma L plus Z0 IL E power gamma L minus VL into E power minus gamma L minus into minus plus Z0 IL E power minus gamma L. VL is the common term. Z0 into 
VL e power gamma L plus VL e power minus gamma L. E power gamma L plus uh, e power minus gamma L by 2 is the cos hyperbolic L. That is VL 2 into VL e power gamma L. Here e power minus gamma L by 2 plus 2z0 uh, higher e power gamma L minus uh, minus e power minus gamma L by 2. Here 2, two, here two is there by VL into e power gamma L minus e power minus gamma L by 2. 2 is multiplied here plus Z naught Z naught IL e power gamma L plus e power minus gamma L by 2 here 2. That is equal to Z naught to VL cos hyperbolic L e power L plus e power minus L by 2 is cos hyperbolic L plus 2 Z naught IL sin hyperbolic L by 2 VL, this one is a sine hyperbolic L plus 2Z naught IL cos hyperbolic L, cos hyperbolic L. Therefore, that is equal to 2, 2, 2, 2 cancel. Z naught VL cos hyperbolic L plus Z naught IL sine hyperbolic L by VL sine hyperbolic L plus Z naught IL cos hyperbolic L. IL here VL by L is the common term. IL is the common term here. IL by VL. IL is the common term. Z naught into IL here. VL by IL. Cos hyperbolic L. Z naught uh, sin hyperbolic L by here IL. VL by IL. Sin hyperbolic L plus Z naught cos hyperbolic L. This is the common term. IL, IL is cancelled. IL, IL is cancelled. VL by IL is ZL. VL by IL is ZL. ZL cos hyperbolic L plus Z naught sin hyperbolic L by ZL sin hyperbolic L Z naught cos hyperbolic L. Cos hyperbolic L is the common term in both cases. Cos hyperbolic L, that means ZL plus Z naught sin hyperbolic L by cos hyperbolic L is a tan hyperbolic L by this one is cos hyperbolic L is ZL sin hyperbolic L by cos hyperbolic L is a tan hyperbolic, tan hyperbolic L plus Z naught. This one is uh, cos hyperbolic L is cancelled. Therefore, Z in is equal to Z naught 
ZL plus Z naught tan hyperbolic L by by Z naught plus Z del tan hyperbolic L. See the input impedance Z in at the generator end. It is a general expression for finding Z in at any point on the line. This is the input impedance. Input impedance. Input impedance Z in at the generation generator generator in. It is a general expression for finding jet in at any point on the at any point on the line at any point on the line for lossless line for a loss less line gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta alpha is equal to zero attenuation constant is zero lossless means attenuation constant is zero mm, gamma is equal to j beta but tan hyperbolic l is equal to tan hyperbolic alpha is j beta j beta alpha is equal to j beta tan hyperbolic here gamma here gamma In all the cases, cos hyperbolic gamma L is there. E power gamma L plus E power minus gamma L is E power gamma L plus E power minus gamma L is E power gamma L plus E power minus gamma L by 2 is cos hyperbolic gamma l sin hyperbolic gamma l here sin hyperbolic gamma l here cos hyperbolic gamma l here also this one is a gamma gamma l here gamma l tan hyperbolic gamma l gamma is equal to j beta that is equal to tan hyperbolic j beta l is tan hyperbolic j beta l is j that is equal to j tan beta L. Therefore, Z in is equal to Z in is equal to Z naught Z del plus J Z naught tan beta L by Z naught plus J Z del tan beta L. Showing the Input impedance varies periodically with distance L from the load. The quantity beta into L is usually referred to as the electrical length of the line, electrical length of the, and can be expressed in degrees or radians. 